miles. Huh. Take that, ya! Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Take that, get yeah. that! Huh! strike! Take that! We can't just talk to them? Huh! Ja, ha. huh, ja, ha. huh. Like you's got an apple and a gel seed, yeah? Then let's get dualizing? It's where you makes an item by combining these. Can I really do that? Sure. Just talk to one of us turtles. Or else hits the shops in town. But you's gonna need this first. It's a dualized book. We have to read. <laughs> and bear witness to the rare and mysterious arts of the Stratton Beastmaster. Hey, do you recognize this girl? Not in the slightest. Is she lost? No, she has amnesia. Aw, how very unfortunate. Perhaps what she needs is to witness the astounding feats of a Beastmaster. Hmm, okay, sure. Let's see what you've got. Great! Prepare to be astounded! Ahem! Abracadabra! A hocus pocus, a front flip, go! Um, he's not moving. No! This isn't supposed to happen! Here, let me try. Abracadabra, front flip, go! Holy moly! Hey, what other tricks can she do? Uh, woozle, wazzle, backflip, go! Front flip with a twist! Uh, jump really high! Now, spin! Spin around and around and then stop! the great show, kids! Your friend here must be an acrobat from the circus! Or maybe an assassin femme fatale trained by a secret organization! Well, either way, it was pretty impressive. I hope you were paying attention, Puffy. Our act is gonna need some serious work. 
Let's get going. Are we done? So, she's either from the circus or an assassin. Really? I don't know, but those movements felt familiar, as if I'd done them before. Hmm, maybe the Beastmaster Lady was right. We should head home. I doubt we'll find anything else here. boys. Your father wishes to speak with you. He's just gonna yell at us again. He doesn't know when to quit. Asbel, you mustn't speak so of your father. He thinks only of you and your brother's best interests. Ugh, not this again. Your father is waiting in his study. All right, all right. Hey, Sharia, can you keep an eye on her until we get back? Huh? Oh, sure. You must forgive my son, Sharia. He puts you through so much trouble. Oh no, it's no trouble. Regardless, you should rest. You must be exhausted after all that Asbel put you through. I, I didn't put her through anything. You are the heir to the Launt Lordship, Asbel. You must learn to think more carefully about those around you. From now on, you are forbidden to take Sharia with you when you play. Do you understand? No! Lady Carrie, please! I'm fine! Sharia! This is ridiculous! Dad's bad enough, but now you? I'll play with whoever I want, so you can just butt out! Asbel! <laughs> Sharia! Oh dear. You should take her home, Frederick. Come along, Sharia. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sharia. We should go see what Dad wants. Hey, you wanna come? Yes. <laughs> You certainly took your time, Asbel. Hmm. Who's the girl? We met her outside town. She seems to have amnesia. She doesn't remember who she is or where she's from. Oh? Well, we can worry about such things later. I need to speak with you. What is it now? I received a letter from a very important man in the capital. His son is coming to visit Lont. 
A visitor from the capital, huh? That's rare, isn't it, Dad? This boy is around the same age as you, but you are not to approach or speak with him. He hails from one of the most powerful families in the Windor Kingdom. We cannot be seen to show him even the slightest disrespect. If something were to happen, it would be a blight on the launch name. Do you understand, Asbel? Why are you just asking me? Do you understand? Yes. Good. As for the girl, I shall hand her over to the authorities. I'm confident they will be able to find her family. This is the best thing we can do for her now. What? Huh? This plan should put your mind at ease, yes? I want to be with Asbel. You do? What is this about, Asbel? You don't want to go? I don't know. But I want to stay with Asbel. Are you in some sort of trouble? Of course she isn't. Um, right? Well, she cannot stay here. I will contact the authorities and make arrangements for her transfer. Don't worry about it. I can take care of her. What? I can take care of her. This is foolishness. I'm serious. Do you even understand what you're saying? You are a powerless child who couldn't possibly be entrusted with such responsibility. Well, how will you know if you don't let me try? My lord, a messenger has arrived concerning our guest from the capital. Right, send him in. Asbel, we shall continue this conversation later. Until then, stay out of trouble. Damn it. Come on, Asbel. I'm going to help her, and I don't care what anyone says. Let's go. Okay. Like all dad knows how to do is treat me like a child. I can't stand it. Why am I the only one he ever yells at? W well, you're the oldest, and that means you'll be the Lord of Lot one day. I'd rather become a knight in service of the king. The capital has a special training school for knights. Did you know that? I've heard of it, but Asbel, can you... Can you really take care of this girl? Yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to show Dad that I'm not just some useless child. Well, yes, but... Sharia, you feeling better? Oh, yes, I'm fine. So, did your dad decide what to do with the mystery girl? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of her. What? Don't shout like that. You'll make yourself sick again. It's your fault. What do you mean you're going to take care of her? I just mean, I'll be responsible for her until we find out who she is. What if we never find out? <laughs> 